I must say, I admire your technical strength, Jennifer, just now. I'm sorry. I meant straightforward with Abigail. I was just telling the truth. Chad can't be happy with Abigail because he's in love with Gabriella. But Abigail is a fine young woman, whereas this Gabriel person... What? Has a spine? You know, Abigail reminds me of one of those frail, clingy wives in, in romance novels, you know, who's always like a very tedious impediment to true love. <laughs> yes, Gabriella is known far and wide for her spine, for her bulb modeling career, her game-changing foray into personal shopping. I mean, she's certainly a, a very strong, independent woman who just happened to marry a, a sociopath. And she had a, a child with a gay man and then moved in on a widower who happened to have an infant son. I suppose to dole out sympathy and a few other accoutrements, I'm sure. Gabriella is a strong, independent young woman. <laughs> no, 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 you're completely wrong. She is a complete narcissist. Like you, and like you. She's aggressive and greedy and needy. You've always been up front, haven't you, about being a prostitute? I like to call a business transaction a business transaction. I am sorry that I hit you. Though I wish it had been a little harder. Well, I'm glad I didn't waste my martini on you. But I suppose I had that coming, didn't I? I shouldn't have called you a prostitute. Well, women don't like to be called that. You also called me a narcissist. Well, I meant that. I've never met a woman like you who's got such a high opinion of herself. But that's part of your charm. Really? You still find me charming? Mm -hmm. I suppose. You know, we don't have very many friends left in Salem. I suppose the two of us are stuck with each other. Hmm. I think you need another drink. If that's the case, and I also need a nice pad for my face.